looking for a uh, net zert rivet tool. Camera's gonna get in the way. Hey YouTube family, welcome back to the channel. My name is Motors and this is my Jeep Next. Remember a couple of months ago I told you that uh, the check strap on the left rear door had broken? Well, I'm gonna get it fixed today. Come along and I'll show you how. So long story short, maybe I took the Jeep down to the uh, uh, topless day uh, back uh, earlier this summer. And when I was putting everything back on, doors, roof and everything, the left rear door check strap uh, wouldn't go back in because the bolt on the inside of the B pillar had fallen down into the rocker panel. Not sure how it came apart, but it did. So I went to the dealer, they said they, uh, had never seen it before, didn't know how they were gonna fix it, and would get back to me. I went down a couple of weeks later, they said they've got a body shop that thinks they can fix it, and they'll get something set up. I really don't wanna drop my vehicle off to somebody who thinks they can fix it, especially when I know I can. Uh, so we're gonna fix that, and we're gonna get this thing so that door doesn't slam on me every time I open it. Uh, still not expecting that, because I'm still not used to that. So let me show you what I got. All right, so in this kit, uh, Amjoy, which never heard of that name before, but that's okay with me. Uh, you got uh, a real nice uh, color instruction book, uh, quite a few uh, uh, nut zerts. You've got additional mandrels for all the different sizes of uh, nut zerts that you might use. And this is what's inside that case of each one of those. And of course, the uh, tool to tighten things down and the uh, rivet tool. So I'm going to figure out which size uh, nut zert we're going to use. I don't plan on drilling a fresh hole because I don't want to cause any additional rust issues uh, down the road, but uh, I think that hole's big enough and it's not a major part that's going to uh, cause any issues if I use just a little bit smaller uh, bolt than what may have been in there previously. So I'll get that figured out and we'll uh, keep this thing moving. All right, so I pulled the original screw since uh, the nut's all that I lost uh, when uh, putting the doors back on. That nut, again, is in the uh, rocker panel on the left side. I'm never getting that out, uh, but I've managed to uh, find the right size nut zert. So we will make sure we get the right mandrel uh, adapter out of there and we'll insert it in the front of the tool and we'll see about getting this thing fixed. Okay, so since that nut zert came out of this package, which they so kindly mark uh, for the size as an M8, that corresponds with that uh, mandrel. There's nothing in that one because it came mounted in the uh, tip of the uh, tool. So that makes it a lot easier. I don't got to switch it around. So I'll get this thing ready to go. All right, so if we were having to switch this out, you basically end up unscrewing this nut at the top, which comes in the uh, one of the mandrel kits, and then you pull down on that sleeve, unscrew the mandrel, put it all back together, and that's how you switch it out. So now we will screw the nut zert onto the tip here. So when you uh, open the tool arms that extends that mandrel with the screw on it. We mount the rivet on the tip, make sure it's good and tight. Just finger tight's good enough. And then we'll uh, walk over to the door and we'll get ready to install it. Okay, so we're at the door and you can see the uh, hole that we're gonna put the uh, nut insert in. And before I got all started, I wanted to make sure that this was the right size. So it is the closest size and it does fit the factory screw. So I don't have to go find a screw even if I was to use a little bit bigger nut zert. So I'll mount it back in the tool and we'll install it. This 
slip it in the hole. Trying to find the right uh, location for my camera. And then we have to crank it down. Camera is going to get in the way. And move the camera. Instructions say to do two or three pulls. That was the third one. According to that gauge, it looks like that's it. And then we use the screw on the back of the inside of the tool, unscrew the mandrel. Test fit the screw. It's pretty tight. Hopefully that uh, pop noise we heard uh, didn't damage it. But, uh, let me get a tool so I can uh, back that up. Okay, we pulled the handy factory supplied wrench out. Let's try backing that up. Looks like it wants to start. Let's see if we drive it in a little further here. Oh, there we go. Yep, I think she's fine. So, we'll take it out. Let's see if we can pull this check strap arm out. going to require, requ require a pair of pliers. Hang on. Check straps under tension in there, so I have to figure out what the best angle is to pull this thing out. Okay, so uh, I actually got started on pulling it out before I turned the camera back on, but basically what I did was put something to protect the paint, put a screwdriver or something in the mounting hole and pried it to get it to come out that far. Uh, since it's under tension, it was kind of hard to get out. So let me see if I can pull it the rest of the way and it's out. So now it's all that's left to do is put the screw back in. Get lined up. Use this handy dandy stock wrench kit provided by Jeep. That's it, let's open the door. Perfect. I can tell just by the tension on it, that's gonna work. So it might have a little bit more of a gap than the factory one did, but uh, 
it's just a check strap, so it's going to work. The uh, little bit of a gap where the uh, kind of looks like a washer, but it's actually the head of the uh, the rivet. Oh, there you go, right in there. So let's uh, get the Jeep turned around so I'm on a uh, the right incline, and we'll test it out. All right, let's test it out. It's been held open. Works perfect. Just like new. All right, you guys, we fixed it. Working good as new. A $45 tool, fixed my door. I didn't have to take it to the dealer. No appointments necessary. Didn't have to worry about whether or not they were gonna take something apart, not put it back right, break something in the process, which does happen. Uh, so if you guys need something like this, it's handy. You've got extra parts to go along if you ever need, any, need it anywhere else or to help a friend or family member out. Uh, so hey, if you guys like what you're seeing, as always, click and subscribe. Tell your friends about me and we'll keep this thing going. We'll see you next time. Working already.